Welcome back guys to Stranded Junk Trader. This is episode 12. There are two exciting things I want to get to in this episode. Um, one involves uh, some new, um, well actually I won't spoil it uh, first unless I, unless the person spoils it. Nope. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is build, oh there she's right there. Um, I'll get to that in a moment. Uh, we're going to build this Ansible network. I said I'd probably build this in the next episode so we can actually buy materials. And I have it. It's just six advanced alloy, 12 gold bars, and four advanced processors. Okay, now we're going to set this up. Ooh, actually, I didn't plan this part. Uh, let me set this up somewhere. Ah, okay, so I got it hooked up. So what you, what you want to do is, uh, with paint mode, you hover over it and press E. And that should, I don't know why I just did, that's the second time it's done that. It should go to Stardew Acres, which is basically... Um, plants, the normal plants in the game, and with wire mode you can switch between, uh, I think that's at Pantsia Medicines, this is, uh, all, most of the stuff's modded, like powerful mutagens, I mean this stuff is really expensive to buy, but if you're low on it you can get it, or you can, or you can circumvent some, uh, some of the, uh, progress, or you can, you can circumvent some of the, uh, progression by using this machine, and then if you press it again with this you get the whatever that said mining this is what we're going to be using to circumvent some of the stuff uh, iridium ore that's going to be useful I'm actually going to get two of those see because then we're going to unlock stuff uh, iridium axe iridium bar we're going to we're going to smelt that bar in a second uh, I can get lunari shards pretty easily um, we might as well get a couple just so we can smelt it down though Oh, I guess I already, I've already picked it up before. Mineral sample, Neptunium, Penumbrite, we got that. If you don't have this, uh, it's probably Ocean. I can get that easily then. Huh, so actually, um, that's actually kind of a good thing. Um, with this machine, we can't, we can't actually circumvent a lot of the uh, stuff, a lot of the rarer stuff, like I was mentioning before. And remember last episode I said that we we're going to try to look toward, um, I was going to look in here to, to see if there was a armor that would allow us to progress. Like obviously like in, in normal Starbound what would happen is you'd get the materials to fix your ship and then you could go to uh, the next planet in your solar system which would be a desert. With that desert you can get glass and tungsten. With tungsten you can build better, uh, better gear and stuff like that and it's similar to this. And eventually work up to where okay, now I have a, an EPP, an environmental protection pack, now I can go to hot planets, or, and now I can go to cold planets, and then on that cold planet, there's a resource that's used to go onto the hot planet, and etc. I can't find out what to do next in here. So if any of you have suggestions on, like, the progression, like, uh, Darth, you'd have to pick up uh, this material from um, this world, and then you'll be able to go to this world, and stuff like, something like that. And I guess we can get to the second thing now, which is over here. I, I completely redid this area. Remember our lab used to be here? And I've completely redesigned it. And now we have a bunch of tenants. And this is also where our uh, miscellaneous storage is. Like this will be for our backpack storage. These two are for blocks. And then this one is for decorations and such. I can put, I can put those there now. And we have this guy right here. Um, he's He spawned in because I put this here. And he's basically, I don't need food, like I've uh, stated several times because I'm casual. But he's here so I can actually sell stuff. So if I get a surplus of weapons I'm not using, I can just sell it to him instead of going to another place. Um, I'm just going to go over here. And I'm just going to start calling this Bob because uh, I still find that really funny. Um, so this is Bob. He's in the back room. And this is basically all the vanilla uh, crafting stations in the game. I just kind of shoved them in one area. I've um, got some couple beds here, and I'm actually just going to collect rent from these guys and see what I get. Uh, 350 pixels, 550 total, and then some torches. Eh, not too bad. Not too good either, but, uh, and then I put, I think, one here. Was there another one? Uh, yes, there's this, this person here, and I put one down here, I believe. No, I guess I took that one out. Anyway, um, I'm going to look at what we got from uh, uh, smelting those materials and buying them, and then uh, we'll go on from there. There we go. I th 
Well, I mean, is yeah. I mean, I was about to say, uh, there we go. I you know, like I I think I found out the progression. But to I mean, I could just buy the iridium. Um, I know where I can get triangle and pyramids. I think with the armor that I have now and the Xerxium and Mercury isn't an issue. I think I'm just going to I'm going to do this now. I'm going to get all the materials and I'm going to build a full set of this iridium. Ooh, what's this? Okay, iridium bar, so 3 6 so 10 bars. That's so I need 20 ore. That's going to be really expensive. Um yeah, I'm going to I'm going to do that. So thankfully I found that. So that means I need 8 triangulum ore. Oh. Okay, so I got eight of that, and then I needed, I said 20, right? 20. God, I lost it for a second. 20 of this. I can afford it, because it's letting me. Ooh, it's 680 pixels just a, for a piece of ore. This is, this is why you generally won't do this, but like I said, I can't really find a legitimate um, progression, so we're going to have to do it this way. God, it's so weird with people running around. So we've gone through 11 episodes without a single, like, person. Like, the only thing that we'd ever encounter is, like, a traitor on some, like, random planet. Okay, I think I have enough. Let's see. Iridium chest. Iridium greaves. And Iridium helmet. So the full, if so, if, if I have the full set... I gain uh, the deadly cold immunity, 15% cold damage resist, and 35% radioactive resist. Those re uh, resist basically means like if a if an enemy has like a radioactive weapon and stuff, um, I'll resist 35% of the damage, which will happen a lot in this mod because the mod actually gives a lot of NPCs the weapons. So like there's radiation weapons in this mod, so it'll actually give them to the NPCs. Um, so let's put this on. So let's see, 147. Let's just do it piece by piece. Oh, I did this last time. I'm actually going to take a screenshot. Let's see the difference between this armor. Oh, forgot you can't shift click. That up froze my game for a second. Okay, so before I had 147 health, so I've gained a little bit of health. Or no, I mean, I lost a little bit of health, and I had 177 energy before, so I lost a little bit of energy. I gained about 30, so I was at 322% damage, so a little over 10% 10, 10 more extra damage. But I've lost defense, so I was at 72, but now I'm at 69. But the, the de loss of defense actually isn't that much. Um, plus, with this armor, I actually get energy regen. Where does that come in? All right, because... This, the, where it says set bonus, that's the set bonus, but each piece also gives its own unique thing. So the pants is energy regeneration 2 and the heat shield. Um, I think the heat shield's universal. That's the set bonus. Um, and the iridium chest gives the regen 1. So I'm, I'm with this set on, I'm regaining health. Uh, I have really good energy regeneration, and I can go to extremely cold worlds. I'm not as fast as before. You can actually tell. It looks like I'm actually slowed down, which is kind of unfortunate. But I do have the sprint, so and then combined with the energy regen, look at that, that's pretty quick. I, mem I remember said I wanted to build this field generator for a long time now, and we haven't because uh, the materials were kind of high t high tier. Well, now that we have the iridium, uh, we can go to a cold planet um, that drops isogen. Can now now that we can resist that extreme cold, and then once we get pick up the isogen, I'll prob it'll probably unlock an armor that also gives. Um, the set bonus or something is going to be like resist extreme heat and that'll be uh, on planets that have extreme heat will also drop the uh, pyrite uh, ore that I'm going to need for the pyrite bar and then once I get that I can basically I mean it still requires the AI chip which is pretty expensive I think I have it unlocked here oh that's actually not that bad at all I just need to make more fight um, but yeah, then we can get the field generator, and then once we have the field generator, we can actually go to any planet we want, um, regardless of our armor, as long as um, it's like heat, cold, proto-poison, or radiation. That's the stuff that we're going to be able to resist. So yeah, now with our new armor set, we'll be able to go to a cold planet next episode, and uh, hopefully work toward our field generator. So yeah, uh, thanks for watching, guys, and uh, stay tuned for the next episode.